On the last day of December 2016, I made a resolution. In 2017, I will be your journaling every day. Now it's time for me to share with you how it went. This last day of December 2016 was a very lovely evening that we spent with our friends and in my head there was this thought that this must be my resolution for new year. I will be your journaling every day and I will be really good at it, I'll be strong and I won't miss uh, a single day because my reasons for that were that I wanted to work on my own style, I wanted to be more frequent in posting my works on Instagram and on my blog, I want to develop some more techniques and I knew that I can do it only by really doing it regularly or journaling regularly and also to be honest I knew that this is something I really need for you know my own mental <laughs> mental well-being. Uh, it helps me express myself. It helps me just figure out everything really what's happening in my life. So I knew it's gonna be good for me. What I didn't know when I made this resolution, when I said it out loud, holding my glass of champagne uh, and having a toast with my friends, I didn't know that I am already pregnant. So a few weeks later, we found out that I am pregnant and we were beyond happy. Uh, and I didn't think at that time that it would affect everything, including my everyday art journaling, but it did. Oh, wow, it really did. So I started very well. Uh, and at the end of December, I think I got myself this uh, book, which is called The Composition Book. I loved it for the covers, I loved it for the way it looked, I loved it for the feel of recycled paper inside. This is something you can get, from, for example, from Amazon. Uh, and believe me, I don't have any interest in advertising this particular kind of book, uh, but I really, seriously, really, really loved it. So like I said, it's called The Composition Book and it's made out of recycled paper. It's got fancy covers, uh, but the paper inside probably to some of you will look, will seem and feel very disappointing because it's thin, because it's not that beautiful, not very posh paper. Uh, but to me, this was a great motivation to actually do this because I would not ruin a, a lovely paper, you know. I can just do this, I can just paint and I don't have to worry that I am... Uh, wasting some good quality paper if it doesn't go well or if I think that it's not good enough. So that was really good motivation. I think this is one of the reasons why I love this book so much, but also for its covers. Uh, you can get these books, like I said, from Amazon. I think they're about seven pounds, which might seem quite expensive for this quality of, a, of paper and and book, but uh, to me it's totally worth it because these are they, these books are inspiring to me. I love them. That's it. So I have a new one for next year already. I will be using it for sure. Anyway, in January 2017, I started very well and I was our journaling pretty much every day. But then, like I said, I was pregnant. And slowly I noticed that every day I feel more tired and every day I feel more tempted by a city, sofa and television than our journaling. And so I spend my evenings, you know, just resting really, uh, not doing anything, not doing much. And this is what I really wanted to do. <laughs> and our journaling was, to be honest, the last thing I wanted to do. This made me actually understand that situation changes in December when I was making this resolution. I was really sure that if you want to do this, you're going to do this. If you make a resolution, you got to stick to it and you can do this and it's possible, it's easy. 
But then it turned out that it's not, that there are different situations in our life when we maybe don't have enough time, maybe we don't have, we aren't motivated enough, or maybe we just don't want to do this. And that's perfectly understandable. And I know it now. There are excuses. And I think the key is to do it when you feel like you want to do it, when you feel like this is something you should do it, not just, you know, forcing yourself. But on the other hand, sometimes we get stuck, you know, sometimes our muse is gone somewhere and actually starting working in your journal is the best idea because this will give you instant inspiration. That's how it works for me. So for two or three months, I was pretty useless if it's about creating in my journal. I would do a page from time to time, but not much. I was starting to grow. <laughs> Uh, then I got a bit better and in, in, in the middle of my pregnancy I started doing a little bit more again uh, but still it wasn't every day to be honest so I didn't stick to my resolution at all. I ended up with about 94 pages in my art journal and today is 28th of December 2017 so it is nowhere near 365 pages, of course, but I think I am still quite happy with myself because I still feel like even though it's not even a third of what I plan to do, I still develop some of the techniques, a little bit of my own style, something that I really, really like to do. And it gave me so much joy. And I feel like this book is really filled with some good, um, content if it's about my emotions and expression and techniques that I really got on with very very well. So the book is filled, sort of filled. I was hoping to finish it and get myself another one for <laughs> second part of the year but that didn't work. Um, here are some of my favorite pages. I think I really like collage, collage and uh, very subtle layers of paint. I enjoyed black ink a lot because it brings a lot of contrast to my works. I really enjoyed scribbling and doodling and writing very freely, very fast. I also noticed that I worked uh, in very specific color combinations for quite a while, then switching to another one and then after a few weeks to another one. Mm. And what's the reason? I'm not sure. I think I was probably in a certain mood for reds and pinks and then in for blues and greys. One thing I can tell you for sure, it was really, really worth it. Even if sometimes I had to slightly force myself, even if I had to say to myself, come on, just do this. Just get your paints out, open the art journal and just do this. <laughs> Uh, it really was worth it because, like I said, I developed quite a quite a nice way of working that I want to stick to now. I think one of the tips that helped me was to have the sort journal open on my desk uh, all the time, really, with some basic paints and supplies around, something that I like to use the most. Uh, with a paintbrush, with a jar of water all the time there waiting for me. So even on those days when I was busy, there was really no excuse for me to grab a paintbrush and just make a few brush strokes. And sometimes that felt like enough. That wasn't a, a finished page, of course, because I realized I don't have to always finish on the same day, you know, but it already was something good. I just felt right. Uh, it just felt right. And I felt really, really nice. So I'm making a resolution for 2018 that I will try to our journal every day once again. Um, maybe trying to achieve 365 pages in my book is probably not, it won't be probably as easy as it seemed a year ago because now we have a little baby. But uh, I think I can make a resolution that I will do this regularly. And I really encourage you to make the same resolution, whatever your techniques are, whatever your skills or, you know, just do this. For 2018, I have a new book. 
I was lucky enough to get this one for Christmas from Jamie's parents. So that's really exciting because this is also the composition book. You can see how thin it is comparing to, to this one. Yeah. Uh, but I already, you know, I'm really impatient to start working in it, but I will on the 1st of January. The uh, covers inside have some mm, nice graphics on them. I really can't wait to start now. Of course, during 2017, I also worked in different books. Uh, I worked in a Big Dilutions journal. This is what I was working in for Wanderlust classes. But very often I would find myself jumping back to this book because I just really enjoyed the size and the fact that the paper is, is just not that excellent. It just gave me the extra courage that I needed. I also started a book for my daughter. Uh, before she was born, I started that book and I decided that I will be pasting pages from my diary to it and some pictures of her. So once she gets, uh, you know, older, she can have a look and she can uh, see all these amazing moments that we had with her as a baby. So what are your journals? What are your books that you created in 2017? Please share in the comments below. Subscribe to our channel for more inspirations, more tips and techniques and just fun mixed media stuff. Thank you very much for watching and see you again soon.